Okay, welcome back. I hope you guys have installed a code editor and a git bash. So let's start this course by creating a virtual environment for our project. Basically, we create a virtual environment because we want to develop our application inside a dedicated space in our system. It's like a special space for our Django application. Whatever we do in the project, we will be doing inside the virtual environment. All right. By the way, what is virtual environment and what do we do inside the virtual environment? Well, while developing a software applications, we will need a various packages or libraries. Every package has its own versions or version numbers. So inside the virtual environment, we actually install specific versions of the packages to run our software application. Now, what happens if we don't create a virtual environment? That's a big question now. Okay, with the help of this presentation, we will understand what happens if you don't create a virtual environment. Let's say this is our computer storage. In the computer storage, we create multiple projects that deals with the various business logics. For instance, we have project 1, project 2, project 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Okay. In order to run these Django projects, we will have to install various Python packages because as I said in the beginning, Django inherits a lot of functions from Python. That's why we install Python packages to support our Django project. These packages are actually a piece of software that frequently gets version updates. You might have seen a lot of applications or softwares in your computer or phones frequently get version updates with the updated functionalities, right? These packages or libraries are also the same thing. Now let's consider this scenario that the project one needs Django version 4.0 with the pillow 8.4. Then this project one will run smoothly. Well, Pillow is a Python package that uh, that is used to manipulate images. We'll talk more about that later. Similarly, project 2 needs Django version 3.1 with the Pillow 7.2, the lower version. Okay, so then only this particular project 2 will run. For the project 1, what we need 4.0 Django plus Pillow 8.4. And for the project 2, what we need 3.1 Django and Pillow 7.2. Okay, so then only these projects will run smoothly. Both of these projects, projects will run smoothly. Now imagine if you don't create a virtual environment, you will probably install all the packages inside the computer storage itself. Maybe you will install Django 3.1 on top of Django 4.0. What will happen? Django 4.0 will be replaced with the Django 3.1. This also means that our project 1 will crash. Why? Because it needs Django 4.0. It will not work with Django 3.1. Most of the time the package updates handles some level of compatibility and it will not crash. But when you have so many projects in your system, it will be very difficult to manage your packages and you will definitely mess up with the one or the other project. Okay. So to overcome this problem, we use something called virtual environment. What we actually do is we create a separate space or separate virtual storage for each of these projects. And then we will install the required packages inside that specific virtual storage. I have written ENV here. This means this is the virtual environment. Okay. These boxes are actually the virtual environment. All right. So inside the computer storage, we create multiple virtual environments. All right. So inside that virtual environment, we put our project. All right. So inside those environment, we will install whatever packages required for project 1 project 2 project 3 like that okay so this means all our projects will always have the proper packages with the proper version the problem is solved right so that's why we use virtual environment we will work on this virtual environment practically in the next video but i hope the concept is clear now so this is all for this video we'll see you in the next one